Welcome back. This summer, it's looking like our backyards are going to be our outdoor oasis more than ever. So it might be worth adding a bar out there. And Christian Dare has an easy hack for you to build your own. So Christian, this is going to make hanging outside a whole lot more fun. Am I right? It's going to make it a whole lot more fun. Welcome to my outdoor oasis. Looks like a tropical all-inclusive, but it's actually a rooftop in the downtown city. But I can show you the exact way to make it also. So what I love about having an outdoor bar is you can make your drinks on the go, you're there, right? But pre-made outdoor bars can be quite expensive. They can be timely to build. So then I started doing some research. I looked online. There were plans. They involved sawing and drilling and sawing and sanding, none of which I wanted to do, right? Like you want to hang out and have fun. So I thought, wait a minute, maybe there's something I could create from pre-made items, kind of make my own concoction of a bar. Get it? I see what concoction, you did there, Tracy. Christian. I love it. Make your own concoction. <laughs> I think that's great. I want to make sure everyone knows that whatever Christian is about to do right now, all the instructions will be at cityline.tv. So the first step is I actually source these great units from Ikea. They're called Aplaro. They're meant for outdoors. I'm pretty sure they're not meant for an outdoor bar, but just outdoor storage. And I thought this would be a great way if I kind of cobbled them together, four different pieces, we could make this beautiful built-in bar. So the first step with any of these pieces is you want to stain it. So like this is the way it came, the original wood. I decided to stain certain sections in a matte black. So you want to make sure you're staining it before you build it because then you can get into every nook and cranny. So the only trick I always tell people to do is make sure with wood you're staining with the direction of the grain. So you just want to go with the direction. I would suggest two coats just to make sure it's nice and coated. Next step. So you need to build it. I know a lot of people dread IKEA building, but this one's actually really quite easy. The only trick I will tell you is do not put on the top. So this is our top. I did not put it on the top of this guy, and I'll tell you why. There's a trick we're going to do. Put this guy down, and I will show you the trick right over here. I added some hinges, and now we have almost like a trap door that even I added this little toggle so you could kind of hook it up. Fill your cooler, any sort of old cooler you have, soft style cooler, anything you want, and you can fill it up with ice. And then you've got right access to cold drinks, Trace. This is such a good idea, and that saves you from having to run inside, run outside again and again and again to make sure that the drinks are ice cold. It is brilliant, Christian. Right, it's all about chillaxing, right? Keeping it chill. So the next step, because I wanted to feel like a really beautiful built-in bar, is I wanted some wall pieces. So these are actually just two wall panels that I sourced also from IKEA that you would drill into your wall. I, because I'm freestanding, drilled into the back of this. Now the whole point of these shelves, these units, is so you can add some shelves. So you can see they're completely adjustable. You can stick them in any spot you want. You can stain them different colors. You can do whatever you want. And it's great for storage. You can get extra storage, your glasses, maybe an extra little plant. But it's a great way just to really maximize all your space and all your drinking opportunities. With Christian, it is very important to have many drinking opportunities, especially if it is done in style, as you have done it there, my friend. It looks absolutely great. So many great uh, storage ideas there. Do you want to talk a little bit about an outdoor sink as well? Yeah, so what I, what I really love about this is you don't want to go back inside, right? Because you've got your ice, you've got everything else. Did you know you could make an outdoor sink just from a garden hose? So I actually went online and sourced a couple parts. It's really easy. Just basically, I picked them up on Amazon. I can show you, just basically connect them together. So really easy, connect them together. Of course, I'm not a plumber, so it'll take a second. There we go, connect this guy also. Always use plumbing tape between these so you get watertight seal. This guy attaches to your garden hose and this guy attaches to your tap, which I grabbed right here. Now, you're gonna need a vessel, of course, for your water. I picked a beautiful decorative bowl because that way you can easily empty it out. And if I did my plumbing right, and I've started a second career, this should work. And we have water. Oh. You could wash your hands. <laughs> so you never need to leave your backyard. It's all here. It's your own all-inclusive trace. 
but you've done it so beautifully. I love the sink vessel. That is absolutely gorgeous. And we know washing our hands is top of mind for most of us these days. So you, if you can do it in style, all the better. Once again, CityLine.TV for all these instructions. Uh, Christian, you're so bright.